Hello everyone, we are here at Wat Tyler Country Park in the education area and we're going to be checking out the ponds here. Now Wat Tyler Country Park is in Pitsy in Essex near Basildon. Uh, this area I'm in here is not open to the public but you can come and visit it to do pond dipping and I like to consider this luxury pond dipping because we have a set of six ponds here and we have tables to use next to all of them as well as dipping platforms. Bit of a luxury when you've been surveying ponds out in the middle of nature reserves and stuff. That's not a bad start. Newt on the first dip. It's a female smooth newt, I think. These are the most common newt species in Essex. She's clearly full of eggs, so I put her straight back in the pond. There was also this great ram's horn snail in the tray. There are a few similar species in this genus, all with curled shells, shaped like fossil ammonites. I could tell this was the great ram's horn though, as it was too big to be any other species. You can just about see their eyes at the base of the two tentacles on their head. Looking like a clump of duckweed, this caddisfly larva soon poked its head and legs out. Caddisfly larva are the young of a moth-like insect, and all the pond-dwelling species build a tube of silk, to which they then stick stones, sand grains, twigs, plant material, or even sometimes snail shells. Exactly what they use varies between species and what's available in the pond. The case acts as protection from predators, but also acts as great camouflage. I moved on to the smaller ponds, starting with the nearest to the big pond. It was full of Cyclops copepods, a small crustacean that has only one eye, hence it's named after the one-eyed mythological Cyclops monster. They swim around their antennae, and I think some of them resemble upside-down bunny heads as they carry around two big cocoons full of eggs around their tails. There was also this damselfly nymph, which are small and more slender than their relatives the dragonflies, but the nymphs are just as predatory as the adults, so these cyclops had better watch out. Despite it being mid-February, there were still plenty in the ponds. This is partly due to the fact they are situated in the middle of a number of wetland and grazing marsh reserves, including the SSSI in Watt Tyler Country Park. I moved on to a pond that had some overhanging hawthorn bushes. Just looking in the fourth pond here, and there's a mouse moving its room around. Here we just see it there. And you might as well see these little dots. They are ostracods. Ostracods, or seed shrimps, are another type of little crustacean. They have two tiny shells that cover their body and are tough little invertebrates that I'll definitely be covering in more detail in a future video. There is also mosquito larva swimming about. These larvae can be found hanging at the surface of all sorts of water sources, like water butts or even pots left around in the garden that are filled up with rainwater, but are not usually very common in ponds as they tend to get eaten up very quickly by predators. I then sampled the third small pond. Masses of water fleas, some freshwater shrimps, and some flatworms. Flatworms are often confused with leeches, but you can tell them apart by the way they move, as a flatworm will just slide along rather like an underwater slug. Unlike most slugs, however, they are predators, attacking prey and engulfing them with its mouth. But what they don't digest, they have to spit out, as they don't actually have an anus. Also in this pond was another crustacean, the water louse. It's a relative of the wood louse, and they carry out a similar role in ponds, feeding on stuff like dead leaves and the fungi and bacteria that grow on them, helping to break down the dead vegetation and release the nutrients for other animals and plants to absorb. Basically, the pond's clean-up crew. I didn't have time that day to check out the final two ponds, but I'm sure I'll be back to do so. Well, that was a good day. Got plenty of stuff there. Uh, the ponds aren't even at their best yet. It's still winter, so yeah, that was really nice. If you want to come pond dip here yourself, uh, check out the links below for Wat Tyler Country Park. You can come and do pond dipping in the holidays. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, do consider liking and subscribing if you like pond related stuff. I'll see you in the next video.